Hi everyone, let's go ahead and get started with cats versus dog classification using convolutional neural network. We will be also seeing here regularization and image data generator technique so that we can avoid the overfitting of our neural network. Alright, so you need to first understand that what is the overfitting. Okay, so these are the three type of the model fitting. When your model fits like a straight line, suppose that you are dealing with binary classification where you need to classify two classes, star and circle classes. So in this, if your classifier is classifying it with just a plain line or a plain uh, with just a straight line. So what happens here in this case, it is getting here mixed up a lot of uh, uh, these stars are going toward the circle and some of the circles are coming here toward the stars. So this is a straight line. When this straight line comes, then underfitting happens. When this underfitting happens and uh, you see this with, uh, uh, with the bull eyes plot here, in this bull eyes plot, you will see for underfitting where we have high bias. So we have here high bias. Suppose that this is your target, this is your actual output, then whatever you predict or whatever the results are there, that will be far from the actual result. You can see this in both of these graph. In first graph, it is concentrated here, but in second graph, all these predictions are away from the real value, but these are here uh, spreaded uh, across here. So when this is concentrated at around a single point but away from the actual prediction then it is known as high bias and low variance. When it is uh, spreaded across there but away from the away from the actual prediction uh, away from the uh, actual value then it is known as high bias because it is away from the actual value and high variance because there is a lot of variance in prediction. When all these values are concentrated and uh, it is around only actual value, in that case it is known as low bias and low variance. When some of these values are around the actual value and some of these are a little far from the actual value but these values are uh, circulating around uh, this actual value. So in this case, you say that there is low bias, but high variance. So this variance says that how, how these predictions are varying their prediction to prediction. So if there is a lot of difference between prediction to prediction, then we say that uh, high variance. Otherwise, we say that low variance. So moreover, in our network, when we want our network not to overfit and not to underfit that is known as optimum uh, optimum fitting so in optimum fitting our network tries to balance uh, balance the these both of classes there in first case you see you will be seeing there in case of this the, the circle class it is quite good uh, compared to this star uh, star class but in the but but in optimum case you see there are three error in case of uh, in case of the circle one and uh, around two and three, three error in case of the star as well. So in case of the optimum, your model has tried to balance your uh, accuracy for both of these classes there. Thereafter, we come to here overfitting. So in overfitting, your model tries to overfit or your model try to, uh, your model try to fit on the data in such a way that it learns a lot uh, on the training data but when we test it on real data it performs badly because it is like just learning the training data and it learns training data in such a way that your model generalizations just uh, 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 went away after this overfitting. All right so all these cases we are going to handle with the regularization and the image data generator. In coming lessons we will be doing analysis of the regularization and the type of regularization. I'll see you then.